It's 6.15 a.m. and already close to 30 degrees Celsius in the Gulf of Aden. Members of HMCS Fredericton's Naval Boarding Party start their daily workout with a jog on the flight deck. Then it's into fitness drills. One, two, like push ups, three, sit ups, and weights. Regularly, we uh, do a mixture of both uh, weight training and uh, cardio, mainly trying to work on our agility and our endurance. These are the men and women who go out to investigate and board suspect pirate vessels. There are 20 members in all, divided into two teams of 10. They all have other jobs on the ship and volunteer for this dangerous and unpredictable job. The boarding party has to be prepared for any situation on a moment's notice, day or night. They have to know how to handle and accurately shoot a number of different weapons. We were invited to see how they train. Their weapons vary from a Sig Sauer semi-automatic handgun to a C7 or C8 rifle and the MP5 submachine gun. Different guns for different situations. The main reason is safety. Uh, each person got to know and be comfortable with the weapons at all times. When they leave this ship here, they are in harm's way at all times. This proves to be a busy day for the boarding team. A suspicious vessel is identified late in the morning and there's no time to waste. The team leaders are briefed by the commanding officer and other high-ranking crew members on the bridge. In the meantime, the rest of the boarding party is getting geared up. Flak jackets, guns and ammo. These guys don't take any chances. We wear all the same gear for, uh, for all scenarios because we never know what we're going over uh, into. Within minutes, they're on the ship's wing and ready to go. But first, a final pep talk from their team leader. We can't name him or any of the other boarding party members so that pirates can't identify them or their families. We brief them on what the, what the mission's going to be, uh, what information we do have on the vessel of interest uh, currently, and uh, anything that we'll be looking for to gather uh, so we can, everyone can look for it, not just, uh, not just one or two people from the team. For the newest member of the team, this approach operation is a first, and all of the training quickly becomes reality. First thing that comes through my mind is, you know, do my job, do my position, right? So if I'm the after sentry, I'm watching the back of the Dow, making sure there's no telltale signs of piracy, making sure all the crew are accounted for, that there's no trip wires, anything of that nature. The boarding party load into a rugged inflatable boat called a rib and head towards the suspect Dow never knowing what they could encounter once they're in the water and exposed. For some, anxiety is high. Uh, a little bit nervous. Others have gotten over that. We've done a lot of training uh, to prepare for this specific mission. I know my team is uh, well trained and uh, the procedures are, are well practiced. It's tense as the boarding party makes contact with the fishing boat's crew. In this case, like in most, communication is slowed down while everything is relayed through a translator. They have just a few minutes to assess the situation. Some of the things that would make us aware of possible dangers would be uh, the presence of weapons on board the other vessel, um, the, the tone of the voice of the, of the personnel, their actions, uh, if they're becoming more agitated or not. Um, those are all indicators to us that uh, they're either uh, they're not happy and uh, that we have to be a little more cautious. This Dow checks out okay. They're Yemeni fishermen who've been at sea about three weeks. There's no need to board, so the team returns to the Fredericton. But only a couple of hours later, another suspicious vessel, and the boarding team reconvenes. Once again, they approach the vessel fully armed and ready, although the goal at this point is simply to gather information. Most of our information is uh, about local traffic, uh, any suspicious activity that they may have seen in the area that they normally operate in, as well as anything that they've heard from uh, uh, other merchantmen in the area uh, about other possible areas of uh, you know, suspected uh, or uh, suspicious activity. 99% of the time you're going to come, come across legitimate mariners out here. They're just looking to make a living, uh, whether they're moving cargo or fuel or parts or engaged in fishing. It's all legitimate trade. 
Uh, we just want to build a good cooperative environment by engaging them in conversation, find out what they know or what they may have seen here. Um, but you'd always have that element of suspicion that they could be involved in something a little more t untoward. The team leader is in constant contact with the commanding officer. It's his call how to proceed. There's always a chance pirates could be posing as fishermen, but again, there's no evidence of piracy on this vessel. Finish up your questions, uh, offer them a bit of uh, uh, water, and then uh, come on back. So the boarding party chats with the crew, then offers a parting gift and a friendly wave. It's just to make their lives a little easier at sea for the local merchantmen that, uh, that are supporting us with information. So we'll take over some, uh, you know, bottled water, some fresh fruit that's, you know, fresh fruit's pretty hard to come by uh, at sea. So uh, we'll give them a, a few, a few uh, nice little gifts and uh, they're usually uh, very, uh, very appreciative and uh, very forthcoming with their information. Clear. Back on the ship, the boarding party members unload and hand over their weapons. Another day without conflict and hopefully a new bond forged with local mariners who may one day offer information to help prevent a future pirate attack. Alison Brinsmead Melanson, Global News, reporting from HMCS Fredericton in the Gulf of Aden.